All right, guys, what's up? I'm gonna do a voiceover this time around of my latest back workout. And I'm pretty sore, even though I trained light, I was pretty sore. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. So, first exercise, I did, um, it's the average strength pull down. And um, I like to do this, since my bicep is gonna hurt, I, I use very light. You can do it on cable, um, rows also other type of machines <clears throat> or if you really have a torn bicep like I did at first you use the ab strap pads and do that so you do 10 reps and then on the 10th you hold for 10 seconds it's the isometric like that 10 seconds and then you will keep going for 10 and then another 10 seconds and then another 10 and another 10 seconds so I did I think two sets of that and um, before, before doing uh, any movements with the machines or stuff, and I, I do the car, the, a little bit of cardio to warm up. I did uh, what did I do? I like to do, I like to do the rower when I um, train back because it's like it's the back, right? So, so when I warm up, there's like cool machines at Pure Muscle Fitness. There's a rower and there's like a ski machine, and then there's the air assault. The main thing in common with all three is that they work the upper body when you do uh, cardio. So it warms up the, the muscles, it warms up the whole body and it raises your heart, heart rate up. And I use the Apple Watch to uh, bring my heart rate up and I try to bust it over 140. It's pretty easy if you push yourself. So yeah, so that was a, uh, oh, and here's my scar. We'll update with my scar. Not too bad. Bicep not looking too shabby. Yeah, and uh, because because it felt good, uh, I started doing some sets with uh, heavier two plates, uh, normal sets. And when I because my bicep is hurt and it's recovering, I don't go heavy on anything really, and I just do controlled, and I do more maybe sometimes a higher volume because I don't want to go crazy pass failure using heavy weights right with force reps and stuff. Um, I'm not sure if my bicep is ready for that, so I, I sometimes I just do straight sets of 12 to 15 reps with a moderate, rather light weight, and I do multiple sets, get a nice pump, and nice stretch there, little shrugs I guess, getting a little bit creative, alright, so that's that, oh and uh, this is a PR for me, cable roll, 140 pounds, but if you look at the way I'm doing them, I, I'm very cautious, very cautious. I stretch a little bit, then I squeeze, I pull with the elbows. And if you look at my arm, they don't go really, they don't bend past 90 degrees, right? And I'm pulling with the elbows rather low on the abdomen, rather than up. Try to squeeze the last there. Yeah, there you go. And. Um, the cool, it's a cool grip that I'm using, it's by Prime Fitness, and you can really switch it up. And I use this one because it's not too pronated, it's not supinated, so that's the, the, the position of my wrist that hurt the last bicep. And now I got the Cody Amy here, Code Red, because I decided to do a, a set with four straps now. And uh, that machine is really cool, it's got a Panata pull down row thingy, and I'm using the neutral grip. And uh, you can just really mimic a little bit of a pullover movement as you pull down, and then you really engage the lats really well with that machine. So I'm just gonna go through the reps there. And what I do since I hurt my my arm is that I try to make the movements the hardest possible, even more than before. So I try to with the whatever weight I have, I try to make that that weight the most challenging possible. So I do it slow. I contract. I stretch to the negative. All that stuff, and now Cody's helping me out with some force reps, with hard squeeze, see the negative I'm holding. That's what you gotta do, you gotta keep the tension on the lats. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Another one? Another one? Nope. That's it. A little fist bump. Alright. That's a great machine, I love it. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool movement that uh, coach Eugene Teo showed me 
and uh, again because it's a rather light training I'm um, adding isometrics to the movement and uh, the isometrics are going to be at the end and uh, for now I'll just cable, uh, rope cable pullovers kneeling down to have a better stretch and better squeeze at the bottom and now oh, I'm getting harder a little bit harder all right and now is it over no it's not over let's do some rows so do some rows with the elbows try to get the lats sometimes the upper back just try to get a nice pump and then when I can't anymore I manage to get it down and then I do isometric I hold it try to, to maximize the pump and tension then I tuck the elbows in a little bit forward and I try to push my butt back if possible and then slowly stretch the lats all the way to the top stretch stretch yeah we're done paint face so yeah we do actually three sets of those uh, oh and those actually are my first free weight uh, one arm bent over row since my injury pretty happy I only used 25 pounds and those are called a suitcase T-bar landmine rose things. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but uh, if you don't know what the name of it is, it looks pretty cool. Usually, it's by John Meadows. And um, yeah, so if you notice, my foot. We'll see more maybe on the other side. Not yet, but my foot that I'm uh, well, of my arm that's rolling is actually in front of my wrist, in front of my arm. It's really, it's like the opposite of what you would want to do, right? But that way you can't really like cheat as much and you get a really sick contraction if you tuck the elbow in the, into the hips so you stretch the, the you stretch the lat at the bottom and then you squeeze you don't need a lot of weight with that squeeze squeeze it and I did more higher volume there also I think I did like four sets total yeah it may look awkward, but it's not. If you look on this, this is a good angle. That's my, actually my good arm. See that? So a little stretch. Boom, contraction. 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 See my foot positioning? And why the suitcase rolls? Because the weight is actually behind you a little bit. So you get a very different tension than if you would roll and the weight would be in front of you. So it's really cool for that. Yeah. Boom. Oh, and this is pretty cool. I actually had the idea by myself. I don't know if somebody did that before. Probably, but I'm the first one that I saw doing this. And because I can't do deadlifts, I started doing good mornings. And what I've noticed is that, fuck, at the bottom part of the good morning, there's a lot of tension in the lower back. And I was only able to use like a plate and uh, some change played in some change, you know, to do the some good reps. There will be a lot of tension at the bottom. With this, there's still a lot of tension at the bottom, but with the band removing the tension, you can actually put more weight. So when you actually go up, you have more weight on the bar because maybe one plate aside is, is enough tension at the bottom, but uh, at the top, it's stupid. It doesn't do anything. So with a plate and a half, with the bands, you can actually Go, go put more weight at the bottom, it's still hard, but then make it harder as you go up. And um, I like that movement. It's pretty awkward at first, but yeah, and for the bands, make sure you place them properly, a little bit more in front of you when you're uh, standing up, so that when you go down, they don't pull you uh, forward or back or whatever, so you're aligned like that. So maybe take a picture or a screenshot or something, you know, try it out. Just try it out, man, just try it out. Home here now. And uh, yeah, that was for my lower back, but you're gonna feel the glutes for sure. But uh, it's pretty cool. My back's actually sore from whatever I did that day, so something was good. Oh, I think I pushed it, that's it. Did a bunch of reps. Good morning, or maybe, maybe, hop, hop, hop. good afternoon, you know, or good night. I guess, do they change name where, whenever you do them? Like, oh, here we go. Here we are. The long-awaited 
<laughs> Mech train part of the video. Now let's see that. Neck extensions with the neck flex. There's actually a link in my description if you want to get your own. And this is more than a, the average like a neck harness because look at all the, 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 the pins. Usually there's only like place with for to put the belt on a chain. But with the clips on the head like that, you can actually snap the cable machine on your head and um, and do like side and front and back and twisting stuff. It's pretty cool. And I, I'm just doing a, a super set here to uh, really stimulate, 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 stimulate the neck. And uh, only 40 pound dumbbell shrugs. Why? Because my arm, I don't want to risk with the stretch portion there. But those felt pretty good. And there was another clip actually on my Instagram. I did, uh, I actually did them at the same time. I did this and neck curls like right after another and back and forth. So that was cool. Oh, that's Rachel and Dorian. That's that's Thorin's wife. She's probably talking shit about me training my neck. Yeah. So you know, you know, I've noticed pretty funny that this is for the front of the neck, of course. Like, Ew. yeah, yeah. Preparing for like a Cannibal Corpse uh, death metal concert here. Maybe a true like a headbanger. Wow, look at those neck rolls. Yeah, look at those fat neck rolls. I never, I never noticed I had that. Oh my god. Anyways. Another thing I noticed is that my face muscles were getting pumped up. Whoa, so it's like a natural facelift. Yeah, See? Like my face is pumped up. Oh, and the side version. <laughs> side version. Oh, look at my belly there. Suck that in. You're supposed to have a small waist. What is this? You know, you're letting yourself go there. Adjusting pre workout. Adjusting crew workout again. Dripping crew workout on the floor. And uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that video. I want to do a little voiceover to make it more interesting and different and maybe more educational. Because the thing is, you know, right now with my arm, the videos I'm going to make, they're going to be nice videos for training and stuff. But there's not going to be a lot of crazy weight thrown around. So, how can I make this interesting? Since Siren Wheels exists, it's pointless to post videos of you benching 405. Oh yeah, 405, yeah! Fuck! Then there's Larry Wheels. What's the point anymore? Back when I was younger, there was no Larry, Larry Wheels. Like, I was like doing benching 405 on YouTube and I was the fucking man. But now, because of social media, all the strong, men, the strong people of the world are on there. So I noticed, wait a minute, I'm not that strong. <laughs> <laughs> so even even less now, um, I, I can I have a lot of power. I still have a lot of power, of course, of course. I'm always going to be strong, but I I have to put the the foot on the brake pedal. <sighs> but it's okay. I'm learning a lot of stuff. Like like you saw, there's a lot of shit down there that you uh, I would have never done. The isometric stuff, the reverse band, good mornings. So this injury is actually giving me opportunities and uh, giving me uh, learning lessons on how to train better and uh, being more diverse so uh and i'm sharing that with you guys so i hope you like the video if you did like it and you subscribe to the channel if you uh, haven't i would appreciate that and um make sure you check out the, the whole series on the torn bicep there if you have an injury it's pretty motivating to see what i went through and if you have a friend just share it with, with them and uh, other than that thanks for watching and uh, if you want to get notified also, there's a little bell button I heard. Click on that, you'll get notified when I post your shit. So um, comment below if you like that video with the, with the voiceovers. And comment below what other body part you want me to train and do voiceover over. And uh, another idea would be cool. I could, do a, I could train with a training partner, let's say Regan Grimes. Then we could, we could, I could put a long un unedited video. And then me and Regan would watch it like this and comment over it and joke around and stuff. That would be cool content, right? So let me know if, uh, if you want me to do one with Regan or any other bodybuilders. Let me know. I guess that's it. See ya.